To use it, what you would do is as simple as this. Remove the bottom of the filter, and you'll notice in the bottom we have what is a, a blue sponge. This is the scavenge filter or pre-filter. So that would remain in the bottom of the, fil bottom of the filter so that you do not get any residue in the filter. But also, if where there's a, a shallow puddle and you can't get the bottle into it, what you can do is you can use it as a scavenge filter to fill the bottle up. Okay, what you would then do, once you've got your source of water, as long as it's not salt water, we're fine. Place the bottle into the water and then screw the bottom up. Now the bottle itself holds 750 millilitres and when empty weighs 635 grams. And as the water remains dirty in the bottle until you pressurise it and it comes out of the filter. So the water can in theory remain in there for weeks or even months prior to you drinking it with no ill effects to the person. Okay, to drink it what you would then do is pump the bottle a few times to put the water under pressure. Open the filter. And then drink the water. Now you'll also notice when I was filling the, the uh, cup up, the water was coming out under pressure. Two good things about this is one, you don't have to put your mouth over the, the mouthpiece so there's no contamination going back into the bottle, but also because it's under pressure, it can be used to irrigate wounds if you've had a bullet wound or any sort of sharp gash on the metal. Okay, so that is the water bottle. Moving swiftly on, we then have the jerry can, which, as I said, has come into service today. The military spec of this will filter 20,000 litres of water. Exactly the same filtration technology that's in the bottle. Okay, the jerry can itself will hold just over 18 gallons of water. Exactly right. Yeah, with the plunger at the back, what we have is a pump device here. Put the jerry, oh, yeah. Put the jerry can under pressure. And then by simply turning, we can then fill up and drink once again. The flow rate of this is two litres a minute. Okay, as you said, once again, we can use it to irrigate wounds, fill up standard water bottles if you don't have uh, normal water bottles. And once again, the water can stay in this as long as it likes. The bacteria can grow within the, the uh, jerry can, it won't matter because the water is not purified until it comes out at the end of the month.